Hey guys, we have Shivang with us. Why Shivang is a pro, pro in everything. He's in, he's in uh, into athletics. He's a great product manager. He's in mechanical as well. He was interested in mechanical core in, at first. And then he pivoted to product management. He worked as a product manager in turn at CarScan, and now he's a product guy at ICICI. Let's talk about his journey. We'll talk about mechanical engineering in Wits Goa. Should you join mechanical engineering in Wits Goa? Mechanical engineering in general, the courses, the curriculum, and what are the opportunities in mechanical? And let's start, guys. So. ओके भाई क्या हो रहा है कॉल आ रहा है अरे नाम दी दी क्या लाइट 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 है क्या आज ठीक है सो ओके लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट गाइस सो शिवांग व्हाट ऑप्शन डिड यू हैव बिफोर कमिंग टू बिट्स गो व्हाट वाज योर प्रोसेस लाइक या सो इन 2019 आई जस्ट फिनिश माय क्लास 12th एंड देन आई गिव बिट्स सैड सो आई स्कोर्ड अराउंड 290 एंड आई हैड ऑप्शंस फ्रॉम Two, one or two NITs uh, for uh, mechanical and electronics, yeah. and I had an uh, option for Bits Goa mechanical and Pilani Hyderabad electronics. I think cutoff was there, mm. and Pilani cutoff for physics, uh, MSc yeah. physics was there. Yeah. So I chose uh, Bits Goa mechanical. Uh, for evidently two reasons, <laughs> one was very big reason it was Goa, <laughs> uh, but on the on a serious note, the other big reason was I was interested in mechanical, yeah. and when I talked to some of my seniors, some of the people who had graduated from BITS, so they told like if you're totally interested in dual degree, like whatever dual you take, if you're taking physics, if you're taking bio, mm. you should be totally interested in it. If you're not, then I think you will just regret the decision of taking a yeah. dual degree because it's really intense. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's how I chose Bits Goa yeah. and mechanical. Yeah. Also, um, I had some interest like uh, like Bits has a very great culture. Yeah. We all know that. And I had like when I was joining, I had this, I had this seen this alumni is people uh, who had cleared UPSC. <laughs> so I was interested to go like okay, people here are, are going there and all those uh, places. Uh, It's like okay, let's, let's go. With the, let's let's go. take this uh, okay. option. Damn bro, yeah. that, that's really cool. So, like, do you, uh, what, what do you think? Now you're in final year at Wits Goa. Do you think that maybe you could have gone for dual degree, or maybe you could have gone into CS or other branches, or do you think that mechanical was a strong choice for you? Um, I think I'm happy with my option, whatever I took. Yeah. Um, so, like, I was quite sure that I don't want to go towards the IT side, like okay. the coding side. Yeah. So. Uh, if you had that in mind, so I think there is not any problem because all the options are open for you. If you want to come in core, if you want to go into non-core, mm. and if you want to try the finance side, mm. so those options are also open. And basically, the course structure is also very nicely laid out, so mm. you won't feel a lot of like tens attention or a lot of mm. pressure on you. Mm. Whereas the other branches are quite heavy. <laughs> Yeah. You have an example of yeah, bro. I I study in electrical engineering and I had to go for therapy for three months to get over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think yeah, we'll make a detailed video about electrical engineering as well. So don't worry. But yeah, to talk about more about mechanical. So what was your courses like? How 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 was your entire courses in second year and third year? Did you enjoy the courses and did you learn about mechanical mechanical like? Yeah. Okay. So the second year courses. um the second year if i talk about was a uh, quite similar to like my je experience okay. you had fluid mechanics yeah. you had materials and um, you had some all those concepts we study torsion mm. tension mm. all those you are applying to different different questions mm. equations like nothing that practical but mm. yeah also practical if you talk about applied yeah. thermodynamics mm. so it's there are all the basic concepts and which are going to be used when you are going to study some more uh higher subjects more focused subjects mm. so if i talk about my third year third year had those subjects which were applied subjects mm. like basically engine motors and mobility mm. which teach you about all the machine parts and cars and how mm. the autom- automobile works and then prime movers and fluid mechanics which ta- ta- talks about all the dams all the steam engines and mm. the all uh, big machines mm. and uh, so basically all those concepts which were taught were used in this mm. And uh, so, three uh, one and three two, you have CAD, computer design, which through which helps you in designing and all those stuff. So the course structure is nicely laid out, and uh, you will feel you'll feel that yeah, you have learned something good worthwhile. Yeah. yeah. And we had it during our online semester. I mean, we were sitting at home, so we didn't. I think we didn't get a proper practical experience of you know, going to the labs and doing it. So, like, did that affect your interest in mechanical? Like, how how did that turn out? 
Yeah, so I think that was a one big thing that um, affected my interest over core sector. Being unable to attend the labs, workshops, not able to do hands-on training, mm. whatever clubs or departments you are in, like mm. I was in this SAE era, mm. so we used to uh, we used to plan that when we'll get get on campus, we'll make this drone, mm. we'll make that airplane, we'll make mm. that RC something. Got it. We use Arduino or whatever stuff, mm. but it was just ended up being making reports and uh-huh. sending into competitions, SAE or whatever. So yeah, yeah. It, it kind of became boring yeah. because we are not able to. do yeah. what we were planning to do yeah. and so yeah it kind of hurt the um, the prospects yeah, okay, yeah. of Makes getting sense. into core yeah that's right i think to give you some context sa is the car making club we makes they make sports cars and they get into different competitions they participate in different competition aeros they make uh, drones and they did yeah. mod- air modeling for aerodynamic but so like uh, yeah. sa has three wings into it supra yeah. baha and aero yeah. so supra is for like uh, racing cars both supra and baha are for the cars who, for the i'm not sure which one is for the racing car and which one is for other mm-hmm. but both are in, uh, into automobile yeah, no, and sure. aero is the one which deals with the uh, aircrafts mm-hmm. and uh, aerodynamic side of the so mm-hmm. sa is basically a society for automotive yep, engineers yeah, yeah so i think they are very like what do you say passionate about building things and i think you guys won some competitions as well i yeah, think they yeah, they yeah. did go for even during the lockdown i did see some mail like they yeah. participated and then yeah. they they won in some competition i think that that's pretty cool so i think i think ultimately you move from being into a core student into a product manager side kind of person like what what was that like yeah so mm, uh it's like a not a very good choice i would <laughs> be very frank but it's an excellent choice if you are um, if you're not sure about being getting into the core because if you are getting the core you're getting into a niche kind of an area yeah. and you need to be very confident and yeah. you need to be sure about what you're going to do in those fields because okay. um it takes a yeah. proper you know understanding and learning to work in a very niche sector yeah and uh, Uh, the product management uh, is all about like uh, how you understand things like um, how you make sense of things and uh, whatever like um, so basically it involves a lot of aspects like soft skills your hard skills and how you dealing with people and uh, mm. how you analyze things yeah and how you com- come up with the good solutions to mm. a good product or to mm. develop a new product so all those things that those those come into product mm. so the transition happened because uh, i had options like if i'm not going to core and i have blocked my it side so i had uh, two three options with me that is the finance side and the uh, non core side mm. so like basically non core side so there yeah. has the finance and then there is the product, uh, management. product management or consulting yeah. so i i start i, I think i uh, like i practice for both these things like i did for product i did for consulting mm. business analyst because all these three fields are quite uh, similar in nature yeah. Yeah. all the skills which is required are quite similar and uh, Yeah, so I got my internship through PS2 in CarScan, yeah. and uh, it was a product role. So that helped me uh, understand more about what products mm. are, mm. what product management is, how you yeah. work in a startup where uh, the product is the one which is uh, like guiding you, and how product managers uh, improve products and all. So yeah. that helped me to give an give a good experience, and then. Um, uh, and i joined joined through t- uh, some cohorts uh, yeah. for product to practice about it and that helped me yeah. a lot okay that's very good answer one of the things that they have to keep in mind is that especially if you're in mechanical i think especially when you come for placements and all uh, and in for ps as well there are certain companies in mechanical that you you're not allowed to sit for i mean especially there's a branch factor as well there, there are only like ec triple e and i and computer science students will be set for are allowed to set for uh, software development roles so that's something you need to keep in mind and because of that many people who were in many people in mechanical who were very much interested in software development they could not avail the maximum benefit especially during placements and practice school there's a branch criteria as well so but there are things that you can do like data science minor and these kind of things which will definitely help you get a really really great job Okay, let's come to the finance minor sector i think uh, shivank has done finance minor he has done a lot of related courses related to finance so there are a lot of finance companies which come for practice school right i mean you can talk yeah, about yeah. some of that so the finance companies which uh, come for practice schools are like jpmc 
um UBS mm. then Credit Suisse mm. and um then we have uh, Morgan Stanley Morgan. and uh, two three more and so basically they check uh, like whatever your offshoot score is for finance and uh, if you it's if it's a good offshoot score you will definitely land into one of the good firms and uh, the work usually usually revol- revolves around uh, financial reports and uh, um, basically all the financial stuff so mm. it's yeah. it's a it's a very kind of a good good career alternative which yeah. you can go yeah. for and uh, you need to have a good finance knowledge and a good finance offshoot to yeah. land in a good internship yeah and then hopes of converting it is like it's pretty high chance that you yeah. will ultimately convert it yeah i think mean, it's a very 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 good program because like let's say many of these firms they generally don't visit engineering colleges i mean many of them they go to mba firms just to get good associates but then due to the practice school program they get a six month experience i think many of these firms don't even have interview some of them do but then most of them they just take you based on your cgpa your branch and your finance offshoot which means there are certain courses that you have done in finance you will be that will be uh, summed up together and based on that you will be given a score and we'll shortlist you based on that so i think it's a very very good option if you're interested into finance it's a very, very good way for you to get into it and yeah uh, let's talk about the placement process this time i think placements this time has taken a hit because of the recession and and a lot of other things a lot of bank collapses credit swiss collapses svb <laughs> collapses and a lot of not a great day great time to get graduate and sort of ai stuff also happening let's talk about your placement process how how was it yeah yeah so like um, my internship was over by um, december mm. so the placements uh, i i said for sem2 placements okay. so um, uh, being mechanical so the core companies usually come in sem1 yeah so i just for the sake of experience how the interview process goes on i sat for the core interviews core companies also so uh the first company i think which came was to for me was thaisen krupp mm. and uh, there was this uh, the so the first of all the first step is the uh, aptitude test and the core test mm. so basically they will test you on all the mechanical concepts there would be a written test of around 30 minutes and 30 minutes aptitude test and out of those out of uh, whatever score you get you will uh, some people would get shortlisted for the next round and the next round would be some kind of an interview proce- process and it might be your resume interview or it might be some uh, hr interview mm. it it might di- it differs from company to company and then there is a final interview so the interview process was more about like uh, tell me about yourself your mm. resume whatever projects you have done mm. and they ch- it, they try to see that whatever job description they have given does your profile is matching to the jd which they have given yeah so they just tried to check that out through interviews and um, so in my one example could be like uh, the one example could be that thaisen krupp came for a role of i think uh, of about testing and uh, uh, some uh, it, it it required some testing knowledge and uh, some knowledge of some machine some in in particular mm. which i didn't have and i just um, told them that okay mm. so i don't have knowledge and and they were like uh, okay so if you don't have that knowledge it's fine and uh, they were so i just went for the interview for the experience so i didn't want to get in so i just told them that uh, i am more interested interested in the product side and all <laughs> stuff and i just gave for experience so they were like okay, uh, okay. it's good for you good it's good that you told her okay. told us about this yeah. and and all and all and uh, so basically what i'm trying to say it's basically if you are suited for the role if your profile matches to the company what company requires then you would certainly be able you will have a good chance of getting into the company yeah. Yeah. so just try to align your profile just see what companies ask your seniors what companies are asking what what do they want and make your resume such that your whatever you're doing aligns with the company's goals mm, got it and the next was like reliance came so reliance i think it came for a solar energy role mm. so like i had taken courses in my mechanical which were like renewable energy and all those courses so those courses like gave me a good insight about how solar energy and how what how industry works of solar for solar energy so um yeah so in the interview again we talked about all those things that yeah uh how is how, how what i did in that course whatever what did i learn in that course and do i have some projects related to that uh, renewable energy or solar energy so that's how the interview process go went on but again as i was not interested so 
arrangement for that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Then um, came uh, the uh, SEM2 product companies and uh, I think I, so the product roles, uh, I had practiced for product roles through some cohorts, I had joined some practice uh, groups where and I used to practice it with my friends. I mean, that was I think in SEM2 around December. So um, uh, there were a lot of tests, uh, they were, so basically product interviews, uh, product companies take their aptitude tests first. And uh, then there is a resume short, first resume shortlisting and then aptitude, aptitude tests. And uh, basically in aptitude, uh, they have some like easy questions, not that easy, but okay, amid questions, some taken from CAT, some from other uh, examinations, uh, culmination of all those questions are there in that aptitude test. And then you have your interviews and uh, sometimes there is a group discussion. So for in my case, uh, it was I had a test. Uh, first of all, I had a resume shortlist. Then I had a test. Then there was a behavioral uh, uh, interview. Then there was a group discussion, and then there was a final interview. Mm -hmm. So in group discussion, you are generally given a topic and you need to discuss about it, and you need to put forth your views. Mm -hmm. And the final interview was more upon based on uh, some technical side, like uh, about my previous internships, about what work did I do there and uh, uh, what uh, technical knowledge uh, python excel sql whatever skills that are required they yeah. ask few questions from yeah. all those areas and uh, they asked me like what do you understand about product management mm. and uh, mm, yeah. and why are you pivoting yourself from yeah. core side or to to this side yeah. so those questions like those are being asked yeah. and um, so yeah, if you are able to answer those questions nicely, then yeah, yeah you are good yeah. to go. Yeah, basically, I think your communication skills have to be really strong if you are a product manager. Yeah, yeah. Be, <laughs> soft skills need to be good. Yeah, soft skills you need to work on that. And is there anything else you want to add? Is there anything else you want to talk to your uh, so, 12 standard, 11 standard students who are watching this, or people who are juniors in mechanical? Yeah. So my advice would be that um, come to this campus. Like, if you are interested in mechanical, or if you are interested in to any field i'll just talk about mechanical uh, per se because yeah. uh, it had been my major yeah. Yeah. and uh, so the faculty is very nice the course structure is very good the clubs and departments have a good culture over here and uh, you will get mostly you'll get a good exposure being in bits so there is a great exposure of very different things and so I'd advise everyone to, you know, explore yourself first yeah. and then choose whatever you want to. Got it. Yeah. So, cool, man. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks a lot for coming. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, Ari, for yeah. inviting me over. Yeah, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah. We're just getting yeah. started. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, bro. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, you, man. Good job. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. This was our unbiased opinion about mechanical engineering at Bits Goa. And I hope you guys liked the video. There was some problem initially in recording the video, especially in with the podcast. And so that's why we had to like add other campus clips. So just so that like we could fill something in. I hope this was good. Maybe like maybe if you did like it better than the original conversation, conversational video, just, just let me know so that we can do more of that. And if you did like that, do let us know that as well. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching.